Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. Today we are going to learn implementing two-factor authentication with Node.js and the OTLF. Okay, so this is the library that we are going to use and the number of downloads is pretty much good. Okay, so we are going to do that. Previous video, we have learned about the Google Authenticator with the help of the Speakeasy and the QR code, right? So let's do this one. Let's dive into the code. code. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, Please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So here I will go to my terminal, right? So here, let me close this one. And then this is the previous video that I have done with this one. Okay, so let's create a new one. Make directory to FA. Next, go to that one, CD to FA node. Next, we have to npm in it. Next, we have to go with the install the express EGS and the OTLIP. Okay. Next, we have to go with create the app.js file and insert this code over here. So let's go and create the, this is, we have to close. Now we have another code. Let's open into the VS code and let's go and create app dot js file and here i'm going to insert this code over here okay <coughs> next step this is done now we have to create a views index.js so we have to create views so here i need to create a folder with the views and in the views we have to create index.egs file okay so here i'm going to create index.egs so here i need to put the code over here two-factor authentication then result okay so and the last one that is result egs so let's create that file also so here we are printing that the token is valid or the not okay so let's copy and add this over here <coughs> right and this is index so here we have the verify action okay so verify you can see that in the verify so here we have a secret in the token and this is verify OTP. Okay, so secret in a token authenticator to verify. Okay, so we are using, we have to first, you can see, we are using the authenticator from the OTLib, right? And we are using the engine that is view engine that is EGS. Okay, the, here we have the URL encoded, extended false, then generate a secret key for the user, then generate the OTP for the user, then verify the OTP. Okay, then this is the index that we have to generate after then we have to verify whether the OTP is correct or not okay after this we will do this with the uh, this code we are going to do with the Google Authenticator also or Microsoft Authenticator also okay so if you want that one also do let me know in the comment section first we will do this process how it works okay so let's go and check this one so let me start the app node app.js and let's running on the localhost 3000 so here i'm going to run look this is running already right so let's this is previous here a secret key is this one and let's check this one let me this is secret key So let me enter the your key. So let me enter the key. Uh, open your Google Authenticator app. Uh, let's add the account over here. Uh, is it working in a desk? No, still it's not showing. So let's go to the browser and let's add the here. Open your Google Authenticator app. Then you have to enter your key. This is your secret key. So I'm going to add my secret key. N M F X S W two one C four Q W four E Y L. Okay, so time based. Okay, so here I'm using the time based, right? So add this one. So I have added this one. Okay, so let's try to add this OTP here. 
<coughs> so uh, what the console bringing up nothing so let's add the code over here that is one six six four zero two okay verify OTP is invalid okay so let me check this again so the secret key is different one I need to add the secret key so let me add again so here I am going to add a demo demo and there is a mix match I guess so every time this code is generated so I am going to add C M B A N sorry B A S N B S N Y O B E B V E T three U okay time based add now check the demo so the demo would be it expiring now so I'm not going to add right now next it generated let's add the six two four five five seven and let's take the verify and here you can see OTP is valid so now this is the secret key that I have added in the Google Authenticator and now you can see that the OTP is valid now. So this is how with the help of the Google Authenticator you can validate whether the OTP is valid or not. This is two-factor authentication with the Google Authenticator. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Uh, if you want like the scanning the code also, that could be also doable. Okay. Any doubt, any query, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.